and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today I'm going to be doing my CD collection. Um, my friend Jessie just did this over on her channel, which kind of gave me the idea to do it. And then I kind of threw it at a couple friends and people said that they would like to see that. Um, two disclaimers, well three disclaimers I guess. First off, one, I'm not bragging for anything I have. I'm very lucky to have all the CDs I have. And some of these I have collected over the course of many years. Um, two, I have a very different music taste. It goes from hardcore rap to old country. So it's kind of everywhere. Um, and another one, this video is going to be very, very long. So get a pop, get something, get some popcorn. If you're going to watch this whole video, I'm going to root for you till the end because this is going to be a very, 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 very long video. I can tell you that right now just by me going through everything to get this ready so um for, i'm not doing this in any particular order i'm just going based on what i have in front of me um i know i have some cds that i don't have like or i i have some cds i just didn't have on me or i couldn't find off top of my head one of them um that i know of right off the top of my head is eric church's mr and mr understood um i bought that when it first 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 came out um, as he kind of pulled the Beyonce, which I feel like a lot of people are doing nowadays. So, I have that one. And then I'm just going to go through my book here first of just kind of things I don't have cases for. Um, which I'm going to slide these in here because I should do that. Um, these are just things I don't have cases for because I've either had them for so long that I'm missing their cases. Or their cases got broke or misplaced or whatever. So... Starting off, I have um, Adam Lambert's Take One. This was a... I don't know if this was like an official CD or if this was what this was, but I bought this. Um, when it first came out, I kind of just saw it at Walmart. Then I have um, Fall Out Boy's Infinity on High, Avril Lavigne's Let Go, and Billy Ray Cyrus's um, Home at Last, which was a Walt Disney CD which he released when he was doing the, uh... Hannah Montana, why can I not think of that? Then I have Shania Twain's Self-Entitled. And then, what else is in here? Um, Reba McIntyre, Reba Duets. Brian Luttrell, Welcome Home. Did, is there seriously? Home at Last, Welcome Home, wow. Okay, Backstreet Boys, Backstreet Boys. Britney Spears, Circus, um, Heidi Newfield, Heidi Newfield, Backstreet Boys, Unbreakable, the A Walk to Remember soundtrack, why? Because it gives me life, Ryan Cabrera, Cabrera, Take It All The Way, that sounds very sexual, Kenny Chesney's A Road in the Radio, um, NSYNC's Celebrity, which... God, I dirty popped to that so much. And that sounded even worse. Anyway, NSYNC's NSYNC, the Lizzie McGuire movie soundtrack, Hilary Duff, Metamorphosis, um, Backstreet Boys, Black and Blue, Backstreet Boys, This Is Us, Christina Aguilera, Christina Aguilera, 303, 303, um, Justin Bieber's 2.0, which I actually still have the uh, slipcase for, or like the covers for those. I just don't have cases for them. And then Lifehouse is who we are. So there's that. Like I said, this is going to be a very, very long video. So I have Bon Jovi's um, Greatest Hit, The Ultimate Collection. This is a two-disc set that came with a bunch of Bon Jovi hits on it. I got this for Christmas one year. Um, I feel like I'm going to move pillows around. Because I feel like I'm going to leave Taylor for last and kind of just do this all of Taylor at once because we all know I love me my Taylor Swift and I have a lot of stuff for her so I feel like we're gonna save the best for last um god you guys are going to shame on me when I get to like my Taylor Swift collection just so we all understand um 
Mary Lambert, My Heart on My Sleeve. I believe I did this in a favorites video. I love this album. Um, I need to re-download this album and put it on my um, iPod so I can listen to it in my car. Because my, who the fuck buys a 2015 car without a CD player? This douchebag. That's who. Jenna Kramer's um, 31. I love Jenna Kramer. She was um, Alex on One Tree Hill. And I fell in love with her then. And there's a couple songs on here that are bonus. If you get like the deluxe version. That are like bonus tracks. That were songs that she sang on the One Tree Hill. Uh, Selena Gomez Revival Deluxe Edition. The un This Unruly Mess I've Made by um, Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. I found out that they were releasing this and immediately had to go get it. Um, I listened to this entire album at least three times and I am obsessed with this album. There's a lot of truth to this album. There's a lot of... This album is amazing. This is nothing like The Heist. Um, I definitely feel like you should definitely go pick this up and try it. Um, I got mine at Target. <laughs> Excuse my yawn. Got this at Target. And it has 13 tracks on it. Um, the There's kind of the uh, last song on this album. is called White Privilege Number 2. And it is uh, like an almost a nine minute song and it has a lot of truth told to it um and there's kind of just a lot going on with it i love 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 this album great 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 album then we have blake shelton's reloaded 20 number ones and i got like the big box set that you could get with this where it came with like um the cd the cd a booklet, I don't know why I did this this way, a booklet, and then it also came with, like, two koozies, and then some cover stuff for, um, his albums, which helps me, because I have a lot of his albums, I just don't have them all, and I would like to get them all eventually, um, because I've always loved Blake Shelton, um, I'm not a huge fan of him as a person, um, I feel like some of the things that he promotes as a person, I'm not a huge fan of, but I really do love his music. So, there's that. We have Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday Roman Reloaded. Britney Spears' Britney Jean. And I have the deluxe and the non-deluxe version of these. So, there's that. I did not think out the piling of this. Britney Spears' My Prerogative Greatest Hits. Dustin Lynch, Dustin Lynch. Um, Night Visions by Imagine Dragons. Dixie Chicks, Wide Open Spaces. Um, Nothing to Lose by Emblem 3. Um, Destiny Fulfilled by Destiny Child. As I just threw that. I'm sorry, Destiny Child. The Beauty and the Beast movie soundtrack. Oh. Gotta love my Beauty and the Beast. Um, Eminem's Marshall Mathers number Marshall Mathers LP number two. This was an amazing, amazing record. If you did not listen to that or have not listened to it, go get that. Um, next is kind of a box set that I got, um, but I don't have it all in the box set, and it's the Garth Brooks box set. So this is Country Classics and um, Melting Pot, and then you've got Classic Rock. Blue Eyed Soul. Um, this one wasn't part of it, but uh, Garth Brooks Ultimate Hits. This is like the actual greatest hits album. Um, Faith Hills Cry. Dixie Chicks Home. Dina Carter's um, Dina Carter. Or no, did I shave my legs for this by Dina Carter? That's what this is. Or did I shave? Did I shave? I don't know what this is actually called, because one side of the album says, did I shave? The other one says, did I shave my legs for this? And the CD says, broke. That's what I did. I just throw this out of there. Um, did I shave my legs for this is the official title. So, there's that. Then we have Revelation by 98 Degrees. Um, continuing on the double-sided thing, we have Garth Brooks at the Wind, Blame It on My Roots. Followed Gary Garth Brooks' greatest hits, or ultimate hits, uh, Kobe Calais' Gypsy Heart, 
Um, Faith Hill, The Hits. Shania Twain's The Woman in Me. Shania Twain, Come On Over International Version. Shania Twain, Up. This is just the, um, this is the green and red versions of it. I would really love to pick up the green, red, and blue versions. Like, I don't know if I can get this open. The CD case is all messed up. But there's like a green and a red one. But I've always wanted the blue one. And that one's really, really, really hard to find. I would die to have that. Because Shania Twain's like my original love. And there went my CDs. Now that's why I called Disney. If anyone wants to blame a 22-year-old man for loving Disney, fuck you. I love my Disney. Hunter Hayes live. Um, Shania Twain, You're Still the One, live from Las Vegas. I would love for Miss Britney Spears to do something like this with the Peace of Me tour. Got a Peace of Me show. Megan Trainer titled Deluxe. This, yeah, this is the deluxe version. Um, I love this. This was a great, great CD. Um, Little Mermaid Greatest Hits. Now that's why I call Disney 2. Because one CD was never enough. Thompson Square's Thompson Square. Uh, Shania Twain Greatest Hits. 98 Degrees 2.0. Britney Spears' is a Baby One More Time. I feel like everyone has this CD if they don't want to shamefully admit it or not. Um, Brantley Gilbert, Just As I Am. Uh, Brantley Gilbert, Halfway to Heaven Deluxe. Brantley Gilbert, Modern Day Prodological Son. Um, can we just talk for a second about how we went from Hot Little Country Boy here to... Is there like an actual face picture of him? To this. Can we talk about Transformation Tuesday for a second? Like, look at this. Some people just get better with age. Hunter Hayes storyline. Um, five Seconds of Summer. I just think this is just Five Seconds of Summer. Oh, she looks so perfect. U.S. Tour Edition. This isn't even actually the CD. So, Five Seconds of Summer's. She's so perfect tour edition. Uh, Ed Sheeran's Multiply. John Legend. As I, I am terrible at throwing things today. Jesus Christ. Um, Love in the Future by John Legend. 98 Degrees and Rising. Allie and AJ. Um, Into the Wind. This was a great CD. Can we just talk about the pile of CDs that's right here right now? Beyonce is Beyonce, the, like, gay anthem album. This album was the album that just dropped randomly on December 13th. Only reason I remember that, because it dropped on Taylor Swift's birthday. And there was a whole bunch of bullshit that went along with that. So, Beyonce is Beyonce. Um, Be Backstreet Boys is Never Gone. The Coyote Ugly soundtrack. Oh my Jesus, Hunter Hayes Encore, Hunter Hayes Invisible Single, uh, Michael Ray's The Are You Gonna Kiss Me, or Kiss Me in the Morning EP, A Great Big World, um, Is There Anybody Out There, this is the album that has their huge um, Say Something on it. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days soundtrack. The original High School Musical soundtrack. Um, the Very Best of Gretchen Wilson. My Foolish Heart by my friend Elizabeth Von Presley. Hunter Hayes, The 21 Project. Florida George Line, Anything Goes, Deluxe Edition. Sierra Goodies. One Directions, um, Made in the AM Deluxe Edition, and this is like the Yearbook Tour Edition, or whatever that's called. I'm terrible with names, and Jessie's probably looking at me shamefully, shaking her head at me. And I have the, I don't remember which one she got me. Jessie got me a One Direction CD in our swap, and which I think is back there. Um, I'm not sure where I have it at, because I have it hidden away for safekeeping, because I it means a lot to me that she got me that. So, I think it's back there. I want to say it is the 
I want to say it's the Up All Night one, but I'm not 100% positive on that. Then we have Little Mix's Get Weird Deluxe Edition. Can we just talk about how amazing this album is? Because I love this album. Um, Justin Bieber's Purpose. This is the Walmart Deluxe Edition. Um, Kelly... Oh, Kelly Clarkson! <laughs> Kelly Clarkson, the Piece by Piece album. And mine has like that deluxe holographic cool case cover. Mariah carries the Emancipation of Mimi. Um, NSYNC's Greatest Hits. Katy Perry Prism. Which I feel like I also have another Katy Perry Prism in the Zion Pack right there. Pure Heroin by Lord. Lee Bryce's um, Love Like Crazy. Gaga's Art Pop, and this also has that, like, limited edition cool cover. Keith Urban's Golden Road. I actually have two copies of this album. Um, Me, I Am Mariah. I think, yeah, Me, I Am Mariah, the Executive in Queese, or however you say that. Um, Miranda Lambert's Platinum. Um... The Essential Disney Love Song Collection. Nick Carter's Now or Never. Rihanna's Unapologetic. I also have Rihanna's Auntie on my phone because I was able to download that. Um, Red River Blue by Blake Shelton. Um, Blake Shelton More Pure BS Deluxe Edition. Blake Shelton, Blake Shelton Deluxe Edition. Blake Shelton, The Dreamer Deluxe. Rascal Flatts Rewind. Deluxe Edition of Madonna's Rebel Heart. The Purple Rain Prince and the Revolution soundtrack. This album is amazing. If you do not know Prince's Purple Rain, you need to go find yourself. And you need to stop this video right now and you need to go YouTube, YouTube that because that song is life. Like, I don't know if you guys can see or not. Apparently we're not connected. My Wi-Fi network is called Purple Rain. So, the Hannah Montana soundtrack. The only reason I bought this album was because it has Crazier by Taylor Swift on it. Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift. Moulin Rouge soundtrack. Oh. Okay, we should not be allowed to do this. The, um, Elaine Shania Twain, this is her, like, actual, like, this was, like, I think her, like, debut, debut, debut album. This was released in 1999, except for, I feel like, the other one was released in 93. But this was a whole different departure from what she normally did. Um, and then you have The Beginnings, Shania Twain. Shania Twain, Come On Over, I think... I have the international and the regular versions of this. Whitney Houston's The Greatest Hits. Um, I feel like this was released after she passed. Something tells me she what it was. I don't know. Um, Tim McGraw's Emotional Traffic. Tim McGraw's Number One Hits. We'll get to that one in a second. Philip Phillips. Um... The World from the Side of the Moon. If you guys understood the, like, Jenga game I'm playing right now. Paris Hilton's Paris Hilton. Now, that's what I call movies. This has some of the best movie soundtracks on it that you will hear ever. The Soundtrack of My Life by Nick Lachey. Can we just talk about how hot he is for a second? Anyway, so hot, and I love that he did this album. He basically took a bunch of songs like In Your Eyes, Falling Slowly, Here We Are, Iris, Angel, Streets of Philadelphia, Don't Want to Miss a Thing, When You Say Nothing at All, What a Wonderful World, and Where Are You Christmas. And these are all songs that he felt fit his life from movies. Miley Cyrus's Bangers, that's the deluxe edition. Um, Miley Cyrus's um, the Time of Our Lives, Martina McBride, um, The Hits and More, 
Carrie Underwood's Some Hearts. Sarah Evans, Slow Me Down. I can hear you guys silently judging me as I'm moving my Taylor Swift CDs out of the way. Blake Lewis, um, Audio Daydream. Katy Perry, One of the Boys. Um, Casey Musgraves, Same Trailer, Different Park. The Ultimate Pitch Perfect Soundtrack. Um, Katy Perry's The Complete Confection, and this also has that, like, rare limited edition covering. Um, Macklemore and Lyne, Ryan Lewis, The Heist. Love and Theft, Love and Theft. Troy Savon's Blue Neighborhood. If you do not have this album, shame on you, go buy it. It's amazing. I love me a Troy Savon. He's just an amazing, amazing boy. Some of the songs on here are amazing. Um, for a debut album, this album is amazing. Um, O-Town's, I believe this is just O-Town. I feel like, yeah, this is O-Town's limited edition. Can we talk about this album? Who did not have this album? Who does not know All or Nothing? If you do not know All or Nothing, we need to have a talk. It is just like Purple Brain. If you have not heard it, stop this video and go watch, or go watch O-Town's God, they're so hot. And this little fucker right there, yeah, he, oh, he's gorgeous. So gorgeous. Always has been gorgeous, and he's even gorgeous now. Like, oh. Um, where was I at? Can we get to Taylor Swift now? I think we can go to Taylor Swift now. Taylor Swift Red Zine Pack. This has CDs, posters, stickers, all the other fun junk that Taylor Swift has with the design pack. This is in no particular order. We're just going to go through this. Um, Fearless Platinum Edition. I know I have another one in here somewhere. Where's it at? That's not it. I have two copies of Fearless Platinum Edition. One doesn't have a uh, case because downstairs in my living room I have all of her CDs lined up with like the... Uh, CDs underneath it, it's like, like this pretty much, but it's got like, it's a frame and it's got like this, the booklet framed and then the CDs underneath it. Um, so I did all those myself. The original Taylor Swift, another Taylor Swift, um, what I feel like I'm missing one, cause I am and I don't know where it is. I also have like the deluxe edition that I bought when it first, when she first hit the market. There was like the deluxe edition and it had like the holographic cover. I lost my holographic cover since because I'm a dipshit and lost it. Red deluxe edition. Where else is it? I know I have another copy of red somewhere. Did I just throw it in the red sign packs down there? I have a like normal copy of Red somewhere, which of course now that I want to find it, I'm not going to find it. Taylor Swift Holiday Collection. Um, I also have like the Target one. So this is like her Christmas CD that's missing its booklet. Fearless, um, just the original normal copy version. Taylor Swift's Beautiful Eyes booklet also is downstairs with the thing. Speak Now, Speak Now Deluxe Edition, as a, and this is like the Target Exclusive Edition. I know there's one that says, like, I feel like it says Deluxe down this side. I don't have that one, just because I didn't know if there was a difference between the Deluxe Edition and the Target Exclusive, but mine does say... Oh my god, camera, focus. See, it says Target Exclusive on the side. So, um, 1980, or 1989, really? Speak Now World Tour. That's deluxe edition. I have another Speak Now. This is the normal edition of the of the tour. We're gonna go into singles really quick. So I have the We're Never Ever Getting Back Together single, the Hours single. Oh look, who found his other copy of Red? 
Um, and then I have these, which are still in, like, their plastic and never coming out of their plastic. I have the Shake It Off, um, single CD, which is numbered. I believe these are numbered. If I remember right, these are all numbered. I thought these were numbered, and there was a way to tell if they're numbered or not. But apparently I'm dumb, and I don't know these things. I thought that was numbered. But anyway, so, there's the 1980, or 1989 Shake It Off single and then I also have the begin again single this one I do know is numbered it says it right there what number it is this is like the begin again single sing CD there's a lot of single CDs I wanted I wanted like the story of us one because as you guys know story of us is one of my favorite songs this is one of the lyrics there was a whole mess of single CDs that I wanted that I never got and now into my 1989s i have don't judge me i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i have 11 copies of the original 1989 normal edition and one two three four five six seven of them are in this 1989 CD display case that I got from Walgreens when they were all done with it. And then I have two copies of the Deluxe Edition. Two reasons I have this. One, I had this many because um, I was trying to get all the Polaroids so I could have all 65 Polaroids. And I thought when they initially came out that you would open it up and there'd be some way to tell when the album came out. Like, you could tell on the outside what pack of Polaroids was going to be inside. Except for that was not the case. It was random Pokemon bullshit on the inside. And so I ended up buying copy after copy after copy trying to get of them. And I figured once I got 13 total copies, which is 11 plus 2 is 13. Can we do math? Anyway, I would stop and I didn't really need any more. So I have 13 total copies of 1989. I do want like the 1989 Tour Edition and I think there's like a Japanese edition. I don't have any like the Taylor Swift karaoke albums or anything like that. There's still a lot of Taylor Swift stuff I don't have. Um, I've been following her for a really long time, but I just felt like some stuff I never picked up. But that was just me. I do have a lot more CDs, I feel like, than this. Um, but this is just what I have here offhand that I could find. I, ha I kept most of my stuff stored away in a certain spot, but I feel like I'm missing a great deal of my CDs. So there you guys go. There is my 20 up to date 2016 CD collection. If you guys like this and you guys want to see more videos, more collection videos, more stuff like that, let me know. And I can definitely do more collection videos. Um, I feel like, um, I actually had a, somebody request recently for me to go through each collection. So like my Beyonce, or my, my Beyonce collection. Have any of you tried to film in reverse? It's super hard. Anyway, uh, people want me to go through my collections, like my Beyonce, my Rihanna's, my, you know, and tell you guys what my favorites are, what my aren't favorites are. If that's something you guys would like, please hit the thumbs up button or comment down below and tell me that's something you would like to see. And I can definitely try to work that into doing like a weekly video or whatever of my favorite out of each person's collection and what I have out of every certain collection. That's two yawns. This is what I get for working two jobs. Anyway, there you guys go. There's my collection video. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Adas Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.